Yo everybody, this is Rock of the Great, aka The Toy Bookie, and in today's video we are going to be talking about these awesome, poseable, uh, 7 inch articulated skeletons that people have been finding at Home Depot. Uh, we are going to be doing a review in this video, and we are also going to be doing a size comparison with many other figures in this video, and also showing you in Home Depot where to find them and what the packaging looks like. So let's get started. And here's a little tip for everybody who's not in the know. Home Depot right now has these mini 7 inch scale, or they, they work with 6 inch scale too, posable skeletons. You go to your Home Depot in the Halloween section before it's too late. That's the SKU. That's the barcode. I'm going to be picking up a bunch of these. They got some crazy articulation for 5 bucks. You could really get some cool photos. A little Ash versus Evil Dead. Oh, not you. So I'm going to pick up a few of these, and now we're going to go back to my house, and we're going to do a review on them. So uh, stay tuned. First of all, I don't think anyone's going to be using him for your Black Series figure, so I'm going to be taking the Mando out of here. And let's see. There we go. So what I originally bought these skeletons for, I got a bunch of them. I bought them for my Mythic Legion, so I'm going to be adding some armor and stuff to them. They're going to look really cool. But, I just thought, let's see what else he could scale with. He's a little big with the NECA, but I think you could still fudge it because Army of Darkness and the Evil Dead, the whole lore is like, it's kind of cartoony. So I feel like you could get away with him fighting a bunch of these skeletons, especially if you pose them in the right ways. Almost the same with Batman. He's fought some weird people that I feel like if you pose them the right way, you can get him to fight some skeletons. So we'll take that out. That's the Mezco. Next is the Marvel Select. And I think you could... These are actually a little smaller scale. Maybe if you, if you change the head, make a smaller head, you could actually get these to fit pretty well with your Marvel Selects, I, in my opinion. So there, take that off the list. But I think the winner is... These work best with uh, Mythic Legions, like look at that. I'm probably going to pose a bunch of these with my Mythic Legions, a nice cool army builder. But let's get into the articulation, because that's why people are actually buying these and going a little crazy for them. They are pretty articulated in a surprising way, so you got the ab crunch, so he could do a sit, right? Not only could he do a sit with the legs, he could also do like a, like, look, he could fully, look at that, fold up like that, like a battle droid. So that's really good articulation right there. Ball joint at the pelvis, the hips, the knees got a ball joint. So you could, uh, I think they're backwards. Wait, oh no, I think I, did I get the, oh, uh, I got a backwards one? Wait a second. Oh, uh, I think these are backwards, but it's all right. You could still fudge it. Yeah, I think this is supposed to be on this side, and this is supposed to be on this side. So definitely check your articulation before you buy them. But the knees go, you know, look, his knee goes backwards now. Hey, hey, you can make it work. And then he's got a ball joint. with. You could ankle rocker his feet. Like, that's ridiculous. Some, some figures that come out right now from Mattel, action figures don't have ankle rockers. And this, this silly skeleton from Home Depot has ankle rockers. Like, that's ridiculous. Then we have ball jointed shoulders that you could really get a nice range of movement. You could like put them in any way. Like look at that. You could probably have him even his arms closed and holding stuff. Yup, look. He could have, he could probably hold the lightsaber better than some black series figures. Look at that. Look. Look at these poses. This is amazing. So then you got the normal hinge, but you get more than 50 degrees. Look at that. So you get like a, a little bit of 90 degree angle right there. And then he does have, does he have hand articulation? Yup, ball joint at the hand too. So, wow. And then this is cool. So he's got a ball jointed head, right? The head is ball jointed. You could get it all around, but then the jaw is also jointed. So you could get him opening his jaw. Like, come on, man, $5. These things are $5, let me remind you. So... I gotta say, go run to your your um, Home Depots right now before they sell out and pick up a bunch of these because these things are sick. Look at that. I approve. I'm calling it right now. I'm going to start using these for my Mythic Legions. Go out, pick them up while they're still available. $5, you can't beat it. 
I'm very happy with them. They're very cool. And they're way more articulated than you, you would expect. And these have great custom possibilities. I, I'm going to probably go pick up more because this is really cool. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Rock of the Great, a.k.a. The Toy Bookie. If you like what you see, please hit the like button. It helps promote my videos to other people because YouTube doesn't want to. And if you like what you see, subscribe because I do a lot of other content like this. I am a diorama maker and an artist. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, at Rock of the Great. I am a graphic designer. I've done work with bands from Taken Back Sunday all the way to Mod Sun. I do other graphic design work. I've done some comic book stuff, comic work stuff. And if you like toys and you're into that type of stuff, I have a whole nother thing called The Toy Bookie on Instagram. And I do toy photography. I do toy reviews. I do toy dioramas. Very cool stuff on there. Definitely check those two things out. And see you later, guys. Peace.